Hi guys! I know it's a little later than normal, but I thought I would do a little craft tonight since I'm not really tired and I'm not really doing anything. So I did up some of these little poinsettia gnomes. Um, and I thought, well, why not? I'm going to go ahead and do a live. So, and I do want to take a moment and thank you all for liking and following me. Um, last I checked, I only need three more in order to draw those uh, two people. So, sprinkle this. Let them like them and share them and follow me. Um, I hope you guys like this craft because this is what's going to go on my tree in my entryway. Um, I will give you a rundown on the little, uh, on everything that is needed for it. I hope some people notice that I'm on. Um, I didn't really give any notice. But I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So there's one. Hi, Bailey. There's another one. And I think they turned out really cute. On the backs, I put little, um, oh, what do you call those? Uh, clothespins. Uh, so I can just attach them to the tree that way. But very simple to make. Um, all that I used was one of these little poinsettias. You can find them at Walmart. You can find them at Dollar Tree. This one has a little clip on there. A lot of times I save the clip, and I could even put that on the back of a gnome in order to clip it to the tree. But I figured this would be a cute little, a cute little, uh, craft. Oh, Bailey, I'm so sorry. I hope he gets to feeling better. So for the supplies for this, I used... One of, I mean, just one little leaf. And all that I did was took a scissors and snipped those off. And I took the bigger ones. If you did the smaller ones, you could use felt to make the little hats. I mean, you can make tons of gnomes with these. All different sizes. And then I just grabbed some socks that were on sale. Um, I got them at Walmart. And I figured whatever I don't use, I can keep for the sock gnomes. Yes, Bailey, I will definitely say some prayers and hope he gets to feeling better. Now this one is like extra long. And so I will not use all of that. And like this is all of my, my extras from what I did before, but I'll save those because I could do them for the little gnomes that I use, the little bags of rice. So I will save this for that. And then of course I needed some clothespins. Let me get those out of the way too. And then I had some wooden beads. I already, I end up getting like a big thing of them and it just had all different sizes. So I have all my beads done up and sorted through in like little makeup bags. So I went through and I found some that I like the size for the nose. And this one, I liked the oblong or the bigger one because it kind of made it look like he had a big nose. And then the other ones, I just had the smaller ones. And then I also raided my button box. My mom gave me her button box a long time ago. And I just went through to see what kind of buttons, you know, were in there. I ended up buying some snowflake ones um, not too long ago, probably about a year or two because I was doing some crafts that I wanted snowflakes on through the button box. And I ended up finding these really cute, can you see that? Whoopsie. I have to 
you do that. And it's metal. This is like a metal one. And then this one, it has little hearts on it. And then this one, I thought it would go really well with the, the red sock or the burgundy sock. It has like little swirls. It looked really cute. It has that cute design on there. So I figured it'd just mix and match. And then I also got, I want to say a year or two ago, I used, I had them on the, on my tree. I think I used these for a baby shower as well because Izzy's baby shower was uh, deer themed. And so I used them on my tree that year. But I popped one of these off of the little clippy and I thought that might even look cute on one of the hats instead of some of those buttons. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. And I'm not going to use these, but I found them in the button box. And I thought they looked like eyeballs. So <laughs> I could use them on a different craft and make them into eyeballs for whatever I'm making. But I thought I'd show those because I thought they were pretty cute looking. But I'm not going to use them on this one. Now... For each gnome, I also need a little hair tie, like those little itty bitty rubber bands that you use for the little little ponytails on the babies. So since I'm doing three gnomes, I have three rubber bands. Now I also had these little buttons. I thought they looked like snowballs, so I could use those at some point as well. I'm not going to use them tonight, but just raid your button box. You just never know what you will find in there. You might have beads. You might have buttons. It, there's just tons of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and move those off to the side. And then these are the, the leaves that I snipped off of my flower. I cannot wait to hang these on my tree. Oh, Bailey, I hope you get to feeling better. Having ear troubles is no fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by cutting my socks. Because I've already got these snipped off of there. And I'm just going to kind of gauge it. Because I can use the leftovers. Because that can be used for one of the other ones. Bailey, I will keep you in my prayers. I hope everybody gets to feeling better. It's no fun being sick. And I'm just eyeballing it. I didn't measure. That's one way that I, I like doing my crafts, you know, it, sometimes it'll, it'll work out. Sometimes it makes my brain reroute if it doesn't work as planned. So I just kind of like going, going with the flow. And on my other gnomes, this would be a hat that just kind of dangles over. So... I'm so glad that I'm able to use the entire sock for more than one craft. So then with these, what I did, I turned them this way. Actually, this one I believe I kept that way. Hi, Robin. So this gray one, I folded up to that first gray strip. And then I folded this back down. <clears throat> so 
So I'm going to put a little bead of glue where I folded it back down on itself. That'll kind of help keep it in place. And then I'm going to do that on the back side as well. So then where I have that folded up here, I'm going to glue that down as well because I folded it all the way up to the the gray spot and then back down and then I'm going to make sure I keep that pocket so I'm just gonna put a bead of glue in there I'm going to do that on the other side too because I don't want it to come apart. So when I do that, it kind of makes it look like I went to that first that first white strip. But in reality, I went to the, the gray one. So I just kind of did like a paper fold on that. And then when I put the, this here, I'm going to put that inside that little pocket. See how that's kind of coming together? And then I'm going to glue down the back. Christine thank you I had seen this on a video I can't remember if I saw it, a clip on Facebook or if I saw it on YouTube and so I saved it so I saw it so I could do it later and I tried finding it I can't find it so I'm just doing it all by memory they're simple easy so I'm sure, even with my bad memory, I'll be able to do it. So, for the ones just logging in, I used one of these fake poinsettias, and I took one leaf, which means all these other leaves could be different sizes of these gnomes. And then on the back, there's a clip, which I could use that too, but I used clothespins so I could attach it to the tree. That way it's there in place. And I mean, I could have used string to hang them too, but I'd rather just be able to clip them on there. So after I have that glued down on the back, before I do glue on the top here, I'm going to use this little bead and I'm going to place it where I want where I want it. And I'm going to go slightly underneath. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to go slightly underneath, let me see if I can show you there. So it kind of looks like the hat is down onto his nose. 
And then I'm going to put a dollop of glue. And on the bead, I've been putting the whole part to the sides. That way you don't see it. I mean, you can probably see it from the side of it, but then it just kind of looks like his nostrils. So <laughs> I thought that would be really cute. So now that I have the bead where I want it to make it look like the nose, I'm going to run a bead of glue. And I'm also going to put a little bead of glue on top of that bead. There we go. So it stays in place. And I'm going to hold it down. So then there's what it looks like so far. And then I'm going to take that little itty bitty hair tie. And I'm just going to gather up at the top. And I just made sure it was nice and tight. You can use two of the rubber bands just to make it nice and snug. But I just did one. So then there's that. So it kind of looks like he has a hat. And then I just, I wanted to make it kind of look like a pom-pom at the top. So I just took my little scissors, my big scissors, are not as sharp. I don't have like special scissors for everything. So I just snip pretty, not all the way down, but pretty close. So then I cut it in half, one on each side. And then all I'm going to do is strips. And I mean, you could cut this in half in order to make it all even, and then each one in half until you get the size you want. But I just kind of eyeballed it. I mean, super easy. I love this craft. When I saw it, I've been searching gnomes like crazy. And when I saw it, I went, yes! I've been wanting to do something different on my, my tree for a while, but I hadn't figured out what I actually wanted for it. I did start with the sock. So, this is the bottom of it. And then this attached to it, and so I snipped it close to the heel. And this I'm going to save and use it as a hat for another gnome, because I can turn it this way. And I can make it into another hat for one of my other gnomes. Um, I'm, I'm really loving that I don't have to throw them away. And it one sock, and I mean, you get two in, in a package, but one sock will make two gnomes. So with one pair of socks, you get four gnomes. You can do two ornaments and two big ones, you know, or this could really be modified into one of these as well. I mean, I could cut it down here, like right here, fold it up, and then gather at the top and make a hat there. I love that it's so versatile. I mean, uh, let's see, this one here was the same type of sock. Um, it was, that's what it looked like to begin with. And then I just snipped it off. This one was really humongous. It was like a really tall, tall sock. Like this one, I could snip here and make another one. 
with just gray. I love that they can, I can make tons of them with just one pair of socks. <laughs> and then these flowers, they were like 98 cents at Walmart. And then these socks, I want to say they were a dollar at Walmart. Now, I work at Walmart, so I have a discount card as well. So, that makes it even a little bit cheaper for me. I like doing crafts that I don't have to spend an arm and a leg for. And this, I mean, look how many gnomes you could do with that. I love it. I mean, you're making it with just pennies. So then after... See, I'm going to move these out of the way. There we go. And I'm going to set those aside. After I get this cut to make the pom-pom, then I can add the embellishments and the little uh, thing on the back, the clothespin. And I mean, they whip up really fast. It doesn't take long. I mean... It did take me a little bit to go through my button box. I was a little a little picky when it came to <laughs> what buttons I wanted to use. But if you didn't want to use buttons, you could use beads. You could use anything, really. Okay, so then I went and I cut those, and I always give it a little bit of, sh of a shake because when you cut that sock, it has like these little itty-bitty wispies or little puffs. I just dropped one. One second. <clears throat> okay, so doesn't that look cute? Just a little pom-pom, and I, I did get some like little bells because I thought oh I could put a bell or something on the top make it a little bit more Christmassy but I thought no I kind of like the simple part because if I didn't want to use them for Christmas I could use this all winter because it doesn't really scream Christmas and I'm like a really big gnome person so So yeah, and then these buttons, these are metal buttons that I got out of my mom's uh, button box. I snipped off the little circle, that way it would sit a little bit better on there. And then these silver one, the snowflake ones, it didn't come with a little, a little hole. Um, so when I got the buttons, I think... They just had to go through it. Christine, aren't they great? I just, I love gnomes. <laughs> and now every time, I mean, anytime I go somewhere, I look at videos, I mean, they're coming out of the, the woodwork. I think everybody's loving gnomes now. It, and I'm loving it because I can find them a little bit easier than, than before. So on this one, I'm just going to have him match this one and just have simple, very simple detail. So I'll put that button there. And then the snowflake next to it. And then I'm going to take the clothespin, make sure all that's dry, and I will put glue on it. And 
and that just sticks to the back. This is going to make it so easy to put on my tree. I have a tree that I put, it's kind of like in a planter, and I'm going to put that in my entryway. And then I'll just attach this to the tree, to the, to the branches. Aren't they cute? I love how this turns out. And I wish I could find that video so I could tell everyone else where to find it. But I've tried. I don't know where it's at. I've tried looking up poinsettia gnome. Gnome poinsettia. I couldn't find it. But it's not my idea. I just am winging it now because I can't find the video anymore. So then I'll work on the red one next. This one took even less time because since it's the top of the sock, it's really nicely put together. It has like a little thing of elastic or whatever at the top. I thought, well, it doesn't really have to have a pom-pom. It can just stay like that. So this one, this would normally, this is where I did like for the nose on this one. But I thought, let's change it up. So that now this is going to be the top. And all I'm going to do is fold this over twice. That way all of my edges that can fray are tucked away inside. Then I'm going to put a bead of glue to hold that in place. I'm going to do that to both sides. glad that you guys are on. I wasn't sure if I'd get very many people because it was just kind of spur of the moment and it's so late, you know. I thought, oh, I'm probably just going to be talking to my phone and everyone will watch it tomorrow on my page. But I'm so glad that you guys are here. And this one is a little bit wider than the other one. And I've noticed some of the See how they're shaped a little bit different? This one is wider towards the top, and this one, I don't know, it's, it's yeah. So I want to make sure that they'll fit inside really well. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So I'm going to put that bead of glue inside this one here, so the gnome beard stay so I'll tuck that in there then I need to grab one of my beads find out where I want the nose to go and these are just the wooden beads I end up getting like a big thing of them at Walmart And I always try to put it to where it's just a little bit under that lip. So it looks like the hat is down on his nose. And you'll also find when, when you put those leaves inside there, it has a crease, like the veining, on there. And it makes it easy to just put a little dollop of glue right inside that vein. And that holds the bead on there pretty good. And 
And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the top of his nose and across to hold that, the top part of his hat in place. love how these turned out. And it's so quick. I think the thing that did take me the longest was going through my buttons. Now once that's down, I'm going to go ahead and use my little rubber band. And I'm just going to do it right where this cream color stops. So that'll be my little top of my hat. And if you wanted this a little bit more snug, you could use more than one uh, rubber band. I just used one. And if you wanted, you could put some glue in here to keep that shut. I kind of like that it's, that it's open. So see, he's just about done. I'll just add the little embellishments on his hat and then add the clip to the back. Now on him, I'm going to make him pretty similar. I only had one of these silver buttons, so I had to improvise and just find another silver button. This one has hearts on it. This one is like a little flower. But I mean, they're, they're going to look so cute no matter what. And then this button I thought would tie in with the, the color of the sock for the hat. And if you guys make some of these, send me pictures. Let me see how yours turned out and what buttons or embellishments you used. Because, I mean, you could use anything. I have, like, colorful beads. Could put some of those on there. Or I even have like, there's tons of stuff. And I tell you, these little baggies, or not baggies, but makeup bags, they work great to hold your beads. I'm gonna put this one right next to it. And I kind of have it overlapping. I like that it looks like a little cluster on his hat. I have like little wispies. See, I like how it has that little cluster. The other one, I only had two little embellishments, but I mean, you can make them as intricate or as simple as you want. Then I will put glue on here. on the back. I cannot wait to decorate my tree this year. This really made me excited. <laughs> my tree is going to look great this year. I mean, I like it every year, but I think this one's going to be my favorite because it has all it's going to have all the gnomes on there. And then my main tree, it's shaped like a gnome. So it doesn't have any ornaments, no lights. It just has the red the red hat, mittens, and it has the beard and a nose and boots. And then it has the greenery down for the his outfit. So I don't have him decorated. He's just he's my gnome. And this year I think I'm gonna add a little bit of pizzazz to his beard because I did not really care for how they how they did it. 
Bye, Bailey. I love you, too. Get well. I'll keep you guys in my prayers. Okay, so there's that. They look so cute. When I, when I put my tree up, I do plan on putting a picture up. Because this year, I don't normally... This is, like, really new to me. I figured... I'm not, I'm not one to do like public speaking or anything. I'm, I'm normally a really nervous person. So these Facebook lives and my crafting, I figured I'm just going to go for it and share with people. And if they'll watch me, great. It just kind of helps me get out of my comfort zone a little bit. But all of the stuff that I do, that I've been making, I make sure that I do the finished product and post a picture because I think as I'm crafting, you know, everyone can't really see the full effect, but once it's completely done and if I have it in place, they kind of get an idea and then they can work off of it from there as well. They actually see it in the spot that I intended for it. So I will, and I do plan on taking pictures of my tree I'm going to be so proud of my tree. This might be one of my favorite trees ever. <laughs> All right, so this one here, it's pretty simple too. This one, I didn't even roll any of the edges like I did the other ones. So this one, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the back, just the one side of the inside of this sock. Make sure that the other side is not touching it, otherwise you'll glue it shut. And then put that, that leaf in there, of the poinsettia. Make sure the beard's as long as you're wanting it. And this is the one I chose the bigger bead because I wanted him to have a bigger nose. <laughs> I think they are so adorable. So then you just find your spot that you want that nose. And I always try to make sure that my hat will cover it slightly. And then put a little bit of glue on the top so the hat catches it and then across the side. So it kind of hugs his nose. It looks like his hat's down pretty far. So I'm going to bring this up to show you. So I put a little bit of glue on that bead. And then across here and here. So it looks like it's down over his eyes and on his nose. And it, whoops rubber bands. So then I'm going to take that rubber band like I did on the other ones and right where this black and gray meet I'm going to bunch it and that is where I'm going to have my my rubber band sit. And I've been wrapping the rubber band around it a couple times just to get it nice and snug. Now this one, if I left it this long, the tassels would drape pretty far down. And I mean, I can do that and see if I like it. But I did find I wanted them shorter on the other one. So I will probably cut this one down as well. But just for fun, just to show you uh, what happens, because I cut them, this was the longer sock, so I didn't know exactly where to cut like I did with the other ones. So this one, I'm just going to cut it in the strips and show you what I mean.
And I wasn't trying to make my live so late, but my phone was blowing up. I had emails like crazy, some text messages, some phone calls that I had to take. So, but I figured if I didn't do it tonight, I would do it tomorrow, but I got really excited and I wasn't tired, so. I thought, I'm going to go ahead and go for it, and whoever catches me on here will catch me. If not, everyone can watch it tomorrow. And I'm not really good at doing straight lines. So, I mean, it's just however... This one will probably end up being off kilter a little bit. So see how those, I mean, they dangle quite a ways. So I'll probably shorten them. And I found that my small scissors, my little itty bitty ones, work really good for this. My big scissors aren't as good. And it did cross my mind if I ended up slipping or cutting the wrong thing and it took like one or two of my little uh, strips off of here, I would still be okay with it. And I'm just going to give that a shake to get all the loose, loose stuff. But I would still be okay with it because I can always add like a pom, like a regular pom pom on there. But see how, if I left that, it would hide a lot of my sock and my embellishments. So I'm just going to shorten it a bit. that better I mean it's still a little long but you can see the rest of your hat so I like that effect a little bit better and I mean if you wanted to add like raffia bows or anything to it I mean it's pretty versatile just whatever I mean play around with it if if you do it I mean just Grab everything out of your craft room. You can put a flower on it. You can put leaves. Anything. You can put like a little poinsettia on there. Anything works. And if you didn't want the pom-pom, I mean, I'm sure you could find a flower and put a flower on the top. They just turn out so cute. And I made all of those the same, but I, w I pulled this off of a little clippy that, that I had gotten. A year or two ago and I just wanted to show you I'm not gonna put it on because I want them all to match but I wanted to show you how it can be changed up really cute and I mean that looks adorable you could add a little bit of greenery anything but I'm sticking to my little metal buttons just love how quick and easy this craft comes together. It's 
And I like layering my, my buttons where they overlap a little bit. I don't know about you, but that's one effect that I really, really like. And I did grab some ribbon because I thought, oh, well, I'll hang, hang a ribbon on the back. But then as I saw those little deer on the, on the cliffs, I'm like, oh, wait a second. Brainstorm. Why not use that on these? So I think I'm going to like this better than the little, than a hanger, like a ribbon hanger, because I can just clip it to the tree. And I love these colors. They're, they're like really natural colors. And they have so many different socks out there. And if you didn't have socks, if you didn't want to use the socks, you could use a scarf. Um, they have all different kinds of scarves like at Dollar Tree. Sweaters or shirts, fabric, just whatever you have lying around the house. Uh, these ones here though, I was eyeballing those at the store. I might, I might even have to go buy some more because <laughs> I really like it. So there's that. And I love how the lengths are different. I mean, they're the same, but they're different. I love that effect. And you guys are going to have to let me know if you make these because they turn out so, so easy and so quick. Doesn't take much to put them together. I'm going to turn them the right way so you guys can see them. How cute is that? Can you see them all? Can you just picture this hanging on the tree with a little bit of lights twinkling in the background behind them? So cute. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. Oh, and I found these. I had mentioned it earlier in the video. I found these in my button box as well. They look like little snowballs. So I could have used them on the hat or as a pom-pom type decoration, or I could have even used them for the nose. These little things, I only found three. I don't know where I got them. They were in my mom's button box. So definitely going to use these for gnomes later. Probably go on the end of a hat or something. Who knows? But I am so glad that you guys logged on. <laughs> I really thought I was going to be doing this by myself with nobody with nobody to uh, chit chat with and get, get uh, inspiration from you guys as well. Um, so... Let me know what you think. Sprinkle the video. And like I said in the beginning, I am only three people away from doing my drawing. And when I reach 200 people, I'm not drawing one name. I'm drawing two. Uh, I just think it's crazy that 200 people want to watch me do crafts. I just think that's amazing. And the support and the love that I get from you guys really does help me. And I'm, I'm really glad that I get to visit with you guys while I'm doing the videos. So, and I will keep doing videos as long as anybody wants to watch. Because crafting kind of helps me get all the other stuff out of my head. So, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you think. And if you're going to do them, make sure you show me pictures. I think... I'm going to probably do some more crafts, probably make the, the, a couple of the, uh, oh, pumpkins out of the slinkies. I'll probably do a couple of those. I got to save some though for the grandbabies. So 
I'm going to let you guys go. And I'm going to set these aside for my Christmas tree. Thank you guys for watching. I am so glad that you were able to tune in and visit with me a little bit. Um, and I will talk to you next time. Keep watching my page. I will, uh, I never know. Maybe I'll do another live tomorrow. Um, you just never know. <laughs> I'll keep you posted though. Uh, this one was kind of spur of the moment. I knew I was going to do one this weekend, but I wasn't sure exactly when. So I will talk to you guys next time and thank you again. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.